right team good morning so we are going to discuss a very very important critical topic okay to understand easily to explain in in interviews uh, very very informative so first scenario i have one primary ledger can i have one legal entity can i have one business unit can i have the okay like we can call one operating unit best example in india okay air india company they have single ledger single legal entity single business unit or operating unit they can maintain with the one company code card 110 so these scenarios i am keeping with the ebs and fusion both are same logically when it comes to second scenario i have one primary ledger one legal entity can i have multiple views multiple operating units example one company maintain across india same taxes but uh, i want to maintain south wise north wise business model i can go and use two bus two ous with uh, different bsv codes for 110 150 but ledger level you can see 110 only you can't assign two bsv codes balancing segment value set ledger while running the trial balance, you can maintain BSV-wise reports. Third scenario, one primary ledger, multiple legal entities, single business unit, operating unit. Example, Airtel company have the prepaid connectivity, postpaid connectivities, internet services. So we will define three legal entities or two legal entities. Here I taken two legal entities, two different uh, BSV codes. I can enter the data single business unit level, operating unit level to refer the each BSV code separate. So what is the BSV code? Balancing segment value. We will be assigning the balancing segment values under company value set. Company value set, company segment assigned to primary balancing segment while creating the chart of account structure as a mandatory. You can assign the BSV code to legal entity level. Legal entity assigned to primary ledger. Then you can create the subledger transaction under BU or OU. So BSV code wise, we will record your p and l accounts like income and expense statement balance sheets as well i noted some example so primary ledger consists of four c's and the ledger main objective to balance the entries to make the closing period end closings and running the reporting as well so here you can see the oracle provided important points so how like a business model will be worked so we can use the, these are all scenarios in real time in the live environment for many customers. I have seen the many, many customers, these type of examples in my experience. And uh, this will help the customers, clients to make the good business structure model, business enterprise model. Okay. So thanks guys for watching the video. Please subscribe and like the video to spread to more job seekers, more job searchers. Thank you.